Before we come to the specific work of the bank, what have the last few years been like for the global shipping industry? During the last few years, we faced a few uh, an excessive order book of, uh, of uh, vessels of all types. I mean, container ships, dry bulk, and and uh, tankers as well. So it's interesting to to mention here that uh, during the Second World War, world trade uh, grew at approximately three to four percent per annum. However, despite the the the, the rapid uh, Chinese uh, expansion of uh, its economy, uh, during the last couple of years. World trade uh, grew marginally uh, and, uh, of course, well below the 3 to 4 percent uh, average uh, so far. So, according to our estimates, and uh, just to give you, uh, let's say, an, an example, uh, according to the peak uh, shipbuilding order books uh, that uh, we faced in 2008, and assuming that all of these vessels are going to be delivered by 2012, ship uh, fleet of the container ships will uh, grow up uh, by 50 percent while for the tankers and the uh, dry bulk uh, vessels the fleet will be increased by 40 percent which is a very very big uh, increase. At Marfin Egnatia Bank you personally manage a shipping loan portfolio of around two billion US dollars. What's your approach to handling a portfolio of that size? Look, uh, the, the correct management does not have to do anything with the size. Uh, the approach would be the same uh, uh, whether the portfolio was uh, doubled or half the, 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 the size. Uh, the most important uh, issue uh, we're looking at is uh, who is behind the project, who is the principal, what is his past performance and what, what is uh, his uh, track record. Uh, the second important issue is, is uh, the security, is uh, the, the asset. Uh, wh what is uh, the age of the, of the vessel, the quality, uh, her specifications. And uh, last but not least, uh, one crucial factor is the cash flow generating capacity of this, of this asset. I believe that uh, having a transparent ship owner with a solid commitment uh, to the shipping industry a quality and experienced uh, um, management uh, team and the prospects of uh, visible uh, cash flows of a modern, high quality vessel are the key elements of Marfina Gnatia Bank's success in the, during the last couple of years. What lessons would you say you've learned from the crisis? Look, the, the drop in the international trade uh, during the last, uh, the last shipping uh, crisis uh, was uh, unprecedented and uh, of course it was, a uh, it was the result of a compounded actions, uh, meaning that it was an economic slowdown, it was a fall in consumer confidence and it was of course uh, financial crisis that uh, hit the investment and the trade credit. So uh, ship owners as well as bankers have to avoid uh, mistakes of the, of, of the past and um, because uh, you know shipping is a very cyclical uh, industry and um, uh, flows seen, seen in the past uh, is, uh, are, are bound to re-emerge. So what the industry uh, teaches, teaches all the participants is the value of conservatism. The excesses of the past years would not have occurred without uh, the easy money and without the short-term gains mentality that was evident uh, during the past uh, few years. What's your strategy for growth in a difficult market? Look, uh, lending uh, seems to be very limited at the moment. However, Marfin uh, Gnatia Bank still provides support to its clients and, and to projects uh, with uh, good credit terms uh, and uh, to customers that are uh, also paying for its uh, other product uh, other than lending, I mean product uh, ranges. So we believe that these current low levels of the market uh, presents uh, opportunities for the banks uh, to, for the shipping finance banks to, to, to expand further because the, the downside risk is now m much more calculated while the, while the, the upside, uh, the, the upside uh, potential is uh, unlimited. So um, due, to the to, due to the fact that we have to do with a volatile mo market uh, as like shipping, volatility I, we believe that is, uh, can be profitable. So, 
Uh, we believe that this volatile market that, uh, we face today uh, provides opportunities for, for banks to earn uh, market share and, to, and to, 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 to result into good profits. Uh, shipping has, was always a high risk uh, market, so uh, pricing uh, has, uh, is a very crucial uh, factor, especially for the banks. Finally, looking at your own portfolio, what does it tell us about the shipping sector and where it goes from here? Uh, look, never before has uh, this uh, shipping uh, downturn uh, coincided with the uh, crisis in the banking sector as well. So <clears throat> all banks have been scrutinized by regulators, by auditors, and never before the risk management, uh, managers of, the of each bank have more or less become so, uh, so important. So uh, pressure of levels of advance uh, for the banks and uh, incre in increased pricing uh, have also been accompanied by reluctance of the banks to provide financing for uh, extended uh, periods. So definitely the world is not back to normal. However, it's much more uh, better than it was uh, one year before. Uh, we believe, I believe that uh, this trend will, uh, will be more prolonged than it was ex originally expected. So, and I believe that uh, once the banking industry uh, has finally completed its uh, restructurings uh, and uh, the banks have been able uh, to rebuild their depleted capital, then will uh, return to a normal liquidity uh, be noticeable. Nevertheless, uh, the banks uh, that do stay afloat during this uh, volatile market uh, will definitely take advantage of uh, this, uh, this uh, environment uh, and will definitely find uh, plenty of opportunities uh, to expand and, uh, their portfolios. And I believe that Marfina Gnatia Bank will be one of, the, uh, one of the few banks around to expand further this, uh, their portf its portfolio during this market.